We have to try to take it, guys. This, what we are living, we are not living anymore in our lives. It's impossible. Another Pep Guardiola masterclass in the attorney firm. F me welcome guys welcome back to another wednesdays where we discuss sheikh monsoor taking the biggest w ever in football history now i said the biggest take that out of my sight before i continue with this video i want all of you to subscribe to this channel right now with all notifications turned on if you fail to do so bruno fernandez's penalty against aston villa was a correct one even though he spent more money on giving man city champions league football than what he spent on all man city transfers since 2008 this w has to be credited all right it has to be done it has to be credited now although they made it alive out of the biggest final they've ever played in their lives, Sheikh Mansour is not happy. He is not happy with UEFA bullying his agenda to make Man City the biggest club in the world, which resulted in threatening many big profile names at the club to leave the club. But if you ask me, he should actually celebrate for getting a clean chit from the CAS for getting away using the best legal team in Europe despite endless spending of money in the post Pellegrini years. And also, because he baited everyone into thinking that his players would actually leave, imagine how many clubs were ready to sign the likes of Raheem Sterling, Kevin De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez to their clubs just because of this ban, which was fake. Even De Bruyne also once said that two years without staying at the top is a huge price to pay and he might look for options as well. But guess what fam? A few months later, you gave the world WhatsApp but removed texting from it. Well done mate. Yo, round of applause man, round of applause, round of applause, I don't even care, round of applause man. Now speaking of Sheikh Mansour, look, I admire him a lot, okay? What he has done as a businessman is truly phenomenal. To make this team, this team, this team into a European heavyweight in just more than a decade and soon about to defeat <coughs> this white shirt team, it is truly phenomenal. Okay, so after all this, I understood the ability to convince one of the biggest footballing organizations there is, overturn their decision is the pinnacle of success. For me, the definition of Sheikh Mansour is, if you strike a person down, he shall become more powerful than you can ever imagine. For those of you who didn't understand what I'm on about, you can use it in a sentence like this. A Sheikh Mansour is a person who's a Sheikh Mansour without the Champions League. Wait, what? Social media indeed exploded as a result of the ban overturn. Ecstatic Man City fans were completely taking a piss on those who had believed with all their heart and soul that there wouldn't be empty stadiums for the Champions League games from next season. And all of them wished for a proper Champions League campaign. This just shows how hostile hope can be when it is broken. The perfect idea of the Champions League is no more existent and we have to live with the truth that there was unfortunately no ban for the rest of our lives. Now getting into the case in particular, Man City were let off the hook because the events were either alleged or weren't time barred as it was. No, I don't know about you, but this seems a bit manipulative, don't you think? Because when you say incidents weren't time barred, it doesn't necessarily mean there isn't a felony, right? Now, I ain't a student who's studying law, this section, that section, this time frame, whatever. But it seems like the lawyers of Man City played it really well, not gonna lie. It's like a cannibal getting off the hook for only eating the human hand and <laughs> not the whole body. Similarly, the logic being applied here is if I have done something in 2014, why am I being punished for that in 2018 or something like that? On paper, theoretically, you have to let them off the hook. But on the real, there is no denying that there isn't a felony. I don't know man, overturning a decision of this magnitude does not really add up. Or maybe it does, who knows, I'm stupid, I don't know. Now there was a punishment of course. A sum of 10 million euros, <laughs> probably costing Sheikh Monsieur's breakfast for a day. <laughs> so in a world filled with full of colorful hopes, Manchester United was probably the only team to have taken the biggest L from all of this. It was boldly assumed that Tuesday and Wednesday night football wouldn't be a challenge 
But now they have their attention once again fixated to Thursday night football once again with the Man City ban overturn and the Southampton draw. It won't be surprising to find that was what? at court tomorrow filing another ban appeal on Man City if I'm being honest. So that's that ladies and gentlemen. Man City has managed to finesse their way out of what was supposed to be the beginning of downfall in European football. Instead of winning this case results in Sheikh Mansour gifting Pep Guardiola a 500 million euros for signings to go past the quarter finals of the Champions League. This has been your boy Suspect Dream. Make sure you leave a like for more episodes of this series and also subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, okay? Subscribe. Come on, do it right now. Subscribe. Subscribe damn it take care and i shall meet you when real madrid wins the la liga in our next video <laughs> take care and peace